My inbox and phone have been blowing up over the past couple of weeks with the news of a new drug that has been found to decrease heart attack and stroke. It prevents heart attack and stroke, and it is the real thing. It's an injection called Alaris. But there's a catch, and it's a big one. This is Ford Brewer with PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, uh, cancer, uh, prevention. We help you prevent <clears throat> the major killers and disablers of, uh, of um, modern life. <clears throat> so what's the news about this drug? It's, first of all, it's called Alaris. This is in uh, this is the article uh, in Science Magazine, Scientific excuse me, Scientific American. It's a good magazine, and uh, the story is real. Um, this illustration shows uh, basically um, HSCRP, C-reactive protein. Those of you who keep up with um, science, the medical geeks in the crowd know that CRP, C-reactive protein, is uh, a common marker for inflammation. And as you see, this is not, the title is not so much a cure or preventive for heart attacks and strokes. It's more about inflammation's role in diseases. That gives you a little bit of clue regarding, again, the big catch to this medication. So <clears throat> who are the people involved? This is Dr. Paul Ridker. Uh, and in case you didn't catch this in the background, he's from Brigham and Women's Hospital. Uh, been there for 20, over 20 years. And um, in case you didn't connect the dots, Brigham and Women's is the big hospital in, uh, at Harvard. Dr. Ridker is the princ principal investigator and the chair of the board for this uh, survey. Basically what they did, it's a clinical trial and they gave this to something like 10,000 people and that had already had a cardiovascular event, heart attack, stroke, stent, um, <clears throat> and prevented recurrence of that heart attack, uh, stroke, the next event. So this is huge news. Again, that's why my phone's blowing up and that's why I'm uh, getting a lot of information a lot of questions. Hey doc, is this good for me? And we'll talk about it. <clears throat> so, first of all, what is this drug? The name, there are several names for it right now. The name used in the investigational uh, uh, development was ACX885. The generic name is Canakinumab. <laughs> Alaris is the brand name. Now what does this drug do? It's a uh, strong anti-inflammatory drug. And when I say strong, I mean it. Um, <clears throat> what's the mechanism for canakinumab? Well, it's a human monoclonal antibody. Uh, that Again, unless you're a medical science geek, that may sound intimidating. But here, it, again, like everything else, break it down and it's not so intimidating. Well, it's, it's an antibody. Our immune systems make these. Monoclonal means that it is one type of antibody. It hits one antigen. It recognizes one thing. And here's what it recognizes. A uh, chemical in, our, in the human immune system called interleukin-1-beta. That chemical is an inflammatory marker creates inflammation. It pulls in other immune cells and helps this whole cyclical process of attraction of immune cells, which is called um, cytokines, and release of inflammatory markers to try to kill and digest whatever material we're talking about. In this case, what they're trying to neutralize or kill or digest is the, infl the inflammatory... Uh, IL or interleukin 1 beta. Now, this is not an uh, it's not a newly developed drug. It's been around not for a long time, but it's already being used for several diseases. What are those? Uh, some 
uh, some of them which were called orphan diseases, which were, means they were pretty rare, pretty unusual. But look at the pattern here. Systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Again, a bunch of big names. It's an inflammatory arthritis where the, where the child's immune system is attacking uh, parts of the, the child's body, causing an arthritis, parts of their joints. CAPS, it's a fever. It's, again, where the immune system has gone, is making a mistake in attacking and creating inflammation that shouldn't be there. Uh, another auto-inflammatory disease, auto-inflammatory, meaning our immune system is attacking parts of our own body that we don't want it to attack. And uh, familial, FMF, familial Mediterranean fever. Again, the pattern here is um, the immune system making a mistake. And that happens all the time. Um, and this is a strong medication that stops a lot of those processes. So that's exciting, isn't it? It's, this drug is the real thing, and it has actually decreased heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular prevention. So what's the, um, what's the significance? Well, first of all, it's ma it, from a science perspective, it's major confirmation, validation. Um, <clears throat> cardiovascular disease is inflammatory. There's no, no argument that um, plaque causes the problem. The argument, though, is, is plaque alone the issue? No. The immune system recognizes plaque, recognizes it shouldn't be there, and attacks it. That's what causes heart attack and strokes. Our bodies attack the plaque. Now, here's the big question. Would I take this medication? Or will I prescribe it? The answer is no, not at this point. And again, we'll talk about why in just a minute. But let's talk a little bit more about validation and uh, confirmation. These guys wrote a book called How to Beat the Heart Attack Gene. Brad Bale, Amy Dunneen. They've been preaching this gospel for 20 years or so. This is the book they wrote. And it's about how to decrease heart attack and stroke. They didn't create all this. Actually, it was first noticed by, you recognize this picture? Paul Ridker and in, uh, at Harvard. 20 years ago, they looked at a study called WASCOPS, West of Scotland, and helped develop a study called uh, Jupiter Trials, where they found out that uh, statins were protecting people even if they didn't decrease uh, LDL. They were doing that through a separate mechanism co uh, called inflammation. So again, this is major uh, confirmation, validation for these people who have been preaching that cardiovascular inflammation gospel. Now, what's the problem here? It's a real drug. It's, it has clearly prevented heart attacks and strokes. But here's the issue. For every life saved by a preventive, prevented heart attack, stroke, and or... Uh, cancer. It's even preventing cancer, and we'll talk about that in another video. For every one of those lives saved, it took another life in exchange because of increased serious infections. This is a serious uh, anti-inflammatory. It's similar to the types of drugs that are used to, uh, to de decrease um, transplant rejection. So we're, uh, again, very serious drug. Bottom line, it's killing as many people as it's saving, at least in the heart attack and stroke areas. So we're not quite ready for prime time. But huge information, huge news, because it confirms a lot of things. The, it, it's funny to see the uh, cardiology community respond to it. Most uh, cardiologists have understood some basics around inflammation and heart attack and stroke, but they still do uh, stress tests on a regular basis, more often than they should be done. Um, and, of course, the standards for things like prescription of uh, statins, all of those have been based on LDL. 
with the full knowledge that inflammation was a major cause here. No standards based on inflammation. Uh, you see it time and time again in the, uh, the cardiology reactions. Well, I didn't expect that. Uh, I knew that inflammation was an issue, but again, this is just coming from out of the blue. Again, another update from uh, PrevMed, heart attack and stroke, cancer prevention. Thank you.